to Natural Magic Building. All right, we uh, noticed this little issue in survival, so I'm going to deal with that right now. Whoops. I mean, all that works, but, you know. So, uh, good news. Uh, <laughs> I am not going to have to demolish the hovel just yet. However, the tree farm is, uh, is going to have to go. But um, the this wing here, um, the, um, what is that? The north wing. I suppose. <laughs> Just misses the hovel. But uh, the tree farm is not so lucky. The tree farm is going to have to go. That's okay. That's alright. I'll just uh, I'll relocate it. It's not a big deal. Um, however, I am going to have to take the, uh, the Baconator and also mow the grass a little bit. And um, get some uh, stuff out the way here. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing uh, doing some of the big building again. We've been working on kind of little stuff, kind of decorative stuff, last couple of weeks. So uh, we're gonna get back to the uh, the heavy lifting today, and I'm just gonna leave that for now. And we're just gonna fill this in. I'm going to show you something kind of cool I did here in a few minutes. But uh, first, let's get all this out of here. Oops. No, that's right in my face. I don't want that there. Not in the face. Not in the face. Okay. Let's go back in. First of all, turn F7 off because it's annoying me. Fly in through the uh, as yet uncovered window and see how I did this. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, and then two. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 9, 10, 11, pop, pop. Oh, let's leave that there for now. And then, okay, uh, does that go down? I don't think it does. Nope, that's, that's flat. That's a straight shot. Okay. So we'll go ahead and, uh, I'll just leave those there for now. No biggie. Floor, 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 de floor, 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 and um, at what point do I stop flooring? <laughs> I think that's the point where I stop flooring. Oh snap! Uh, I stopped dooring too. Okay. So it's uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven. Ouch. All right. One, two, three, five, six, seven. go. And... Hup! Woohoo! And it's dark. That's okay. We can fix that. I'll just, um... Throw some in the corner. Throw some in the corner. Throw some in the corner. Throw some more in the corner. Um... And it's... What? Three and it's one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. Everybody's nice and uh, lit here. Oh, yikes! There we go. Okay, and uh, give me 
Some nether bricks. How did I do this? Okay. I did it. No, I didn't do it like that. I did it. Well, hell, how did I do it? <laughs> okay, stairs. That's how I did it. Go ahead and grab some stairs. And it's like that. And that. Okay, give me some, uh, give me a couple of these little urns here. Throw you down there, and you down there. Okay, real quick, I'll show you something kind of cool here. I'm just going to fly up to the, uh, the grand staircase. So I've started to get the uh, second floor going here. Now, why am I using torches here for lights? Uh, well, uh, the answer is I'm not. Do they actually function as lights? Yes, they do. Those are not torches. <laughs> Secret room under the stairs. How about that? How did I do? How did I do that? Carpenter door. I did it with a carpenter door. Uh, I was. I actually uh, experimented with this hinge painting here a little bit. And um, I might actually use that uh, in some of the guest bedrooms, but uh, that that's a thing. But for the, uh, the secret door, and I'm going to put a few of these throughout the castle. This is just a carpenter door. But if you take the carpenter hammer and right click, right click, right click, right click, right click, eventually you get this perfectly smooth door. Uh, it's actually... Um, It's got, it's got a handle on the other side, but yeah, on the uh, on the business end, uh, it just blends right in. It's awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna put a few of those throughout the castle. I'm gonna put some secret passages in. It's gonna be awesome. So um, let's see. I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna kill these two trees. I, I've got plenty of saplings hidden away. I think. Hey, hey, there we go. I'm gonna kill these trees. Oops. Um, there. Uh, trees, why you no go away? Why you no die? There we go. Problem solved. So we're get getting back into the big structural work here on the castle. Uh, that tree can stay for now. And I can see I'm gonna have to do some, uh, terraforming here. And also, there, fix that. So we have to find the floor. And I'm going to have to probably do that by going through here. And in my roundabout fashion, I thought there was a chicken in here for a second. The castle sheep is still around here somewhere. Okay, it's one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm I'm picky about symmetry for some goofy reason. One, two, three, four. It's just it's just a thing. When I'm working on the castle, I just like uh whoops. I like most of the castle to be more or less symmetrical. Ah. Okay. And uh, we need to finish off this wall. Mm, excuse me. But first, um, this... This is floor level. Okay, this right here is floor level. So these bricks are right. This is the floor level. So I need to uh, do a little mowing. And a little excavating, and oh, sorry, hot, sorry bees, y'all gotta go. So let's mow and mow and mow and mow, mow some more, 
So it's the last day of my vacation. And it was a beautiful day out, and I didn't want to spend it sitting on my butt in the house. But, uh, as it turned out, <laughs> um, no matter, it's one of those days where no matter which way I rode, I had this arctic wind right in my face, right up in my grill. I, I don't know how that's even possible. Oh, there's saplings. Okay. Well, we can, uh, move those elsewhere. Just replant two trees, and then the rest of them. Okay. Now we can kiss those goodbye. So I've relocated my trees. So yeah, I didn't want to just sit around all day and do nothing. But, you know. I, so I got out and did some stuff. Got a new um, quote-unquote purse. That being uh, one of those cool little tactical shoulder bag thingies. Actually, it came out of the hunting department at Academy. They had some black ones that I really would have liked better. Except the black ones were about 70 bucks. And the one I got was 17 I, Excuse me, no. I'm not even going to pay 70 bucks for a girl purse. So, no. I'm, I'm certainly not paying 70 bucks for a quote-unquote man bag. <laughs> I don't I don't like girly purses. I just don't. But I need something to carry my tablet and my phone and my wallet and maybe a little sketchbook in when I'm out. So that um that does the trick without being, you know, foofy. Get all this. And so it's nice. I don't have to tear my house down just yet. And I can even uh, pop in a secret door for now. For easy access to the castle. Oops. Okay, and then you go like this. Okay, that's the, uh, that's the top part of it. Now... Once again, this right here, this is floor level. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of block these in. So we know where the floor is supposed to be. Okay. So yes, this is, this is the floor. That's got to go. All that's got to go. All that's got to go. And so on and so forth. So yeah, the, the dirt army is still chilling in the kitchen. Uh, I've, got, I've got to make a dirt army barracks. The, uh, the, uh, the dirt guard needs its own little headquarters here. Yes, the Queen's Dirt Guard. Okay. Shave this down. Whoops, that's too much. Well, here, let's just go ahead and fill that in with these now. And save some time. And again, just like I've done in the Feast Hall and the Red Room, I will come back when I go to decorate these rooms. Most likely tear out all the bricks and replace them with something pretty. Like carpet, or a woodworker floor, or something. But for now, it's, uh... Oh, there's a new dirt friend. Hi, new dirt friend. For now, we just put bricks down, just so we can get the floor in. I need to move the, uh, comet kitties in, too. That little, uh, little trick with the carpenter doors is gonna come in real handy, I think. It's gonna be neat to have some secret... See, I wanted to have secret passages. I wanted secret passages, and now I can do them. That, that's awesome. Alright. And I'm also glad that I don't have to tear the hovel down. We'll, we'll keep it as a, as a historical landmark. Okay. That ought to do it. 
before I get too carried away here, let's um let's get some lights up ins. And probably most, if not all, of these are gonna be torn out later. But for now, it's just to uh light the place up. Mostly, I mean, I'm in peaceful right now. I usually do peaceful when I'm building. It's not so much to keep things from spawning at this point. It's so y'all can see what the hell I'm doing in here. Because uh, it does tend to get a little dark. Whoops, I missed. Okay. And that is uh, floor level there. That is floor level there. All right. A little bit of uh, illumination. Go ahead and turn that off for now. I'll come back and uh, there's going to be some walls put in between these rooms. That. Whoops! I missed. That. Let's go ahead and fill this in with bricks for now. All right. And just mow the rest of this. All right, we'll come in and uh, do the floor another time. I'll do that off camera because that's boring. Because, you know, everything else is so exciting. <laughs> Just mow, mow, mow the grass. Alright, and while I'm here, and while I have a dirt block in my hand, put some in there. Get, uh, do I have? I don't have. Now I have. And put some grass in there. So we can come plant something later on. Okay. So yeah, we uh, actually are starting to get um, starting to get something taking shape here. This is it's getting cool, and have a little bit of a landing up to the throne room even. So yeah, the throne room is going to be up over here, and the throne's going to be up just high enough, I think, to where I can look into the garden-ish area. So yeah, that's going to be cool. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else I can do real quick, like, before we, uh, before we call it a day? I think what we can do is, uh, start putting in... I think let's start, go ahead and, go ahead and start putting in a, a ceiling here. I think, because, um, I've got, I'm going to put glass over the courtyard... But for now, let's just put a nice ceiling in here to keep the rain off of us. So yeah, I'm thinking perhaps next time we will start on the, uh, we'll, we'll do the dirt friend barracks. We'll do the, uh, <laughs> do the dirt, dirt dorm. Put some compost barrels in for, you know, just to give them a place to sleep. Yeah, that, that that's where they sleep. Dirt friends sleep in compost barrels. Because that's that's where they came from. It's comfortable for them. I, that shouldn't have gone there. Okay. And uh, we'll have some, once some of the dirt friends start to level up, I will possibly put some of the elite ones actually in the throne room, station them in there as my, uh, my personal guard. Some of them actually are starting to uh, make themselves useful in battle. And they're doing a pretty good job of it, honestly. I'm surprised. Did not know dirt could be such a great ally. Whoop, uh oh. Hey, that's it. We are almost done. There we go. Oh, very nice. Very nice. So I've still got to do something about the windows here. Um, but yeah, one of the next things I'm going to want to do... In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in a little rim here. Oop. 
Okay, that, that's fine. Put in a little rim up here. Oops. And then we'll have somewhere to go to uh, to start with the uh, the roof, the glass ceiling on the uh, courtyard. Oop. Come on, back up you go, son. You may not set until I allow it. I am the queen. Oops. All right. Okay, folks. Well, we have gotten uh, quite a bit done today. So I think next time we might do the Dirt Friend Barracks or we might do uh, something else. I don't know. But um, I will see you next time. Have a good week. Bye-bye. Just uh, going to see if perhaps throwing a micro block down will stop this stuff from doing the thing that it's doing.